A few parks in the St. Peter and Mankato area, starting off with the Sakata Singing Hills State Trail, which is an extensive, you know, long trail through the region. It's mostly paved with some dirt side spurs as seen there. Very popular with walkers, bikers, rollerbladers, etc. Uh, it is dog friendly, must be on leash though. This is off of the dirt trail. There's a creek in this area. You can see there's still some snow and ice on that creek. This is being filmed in March of 2024. Uh, most marches, you know, most of the time in the month of March, you'd find much more snow than this, but we had a warm and dry winter. So everything's kind of brown. And that goes underneath Highway 22. So it's a nice, uh, pleasant way for us to cross the highway. This trail goes through, you know, woods and some neighborhoods and different areas. The spur going up on the side there goes up to a parking lot. There are multiple parking lots for this trail and the particular one up here is right off of Highway 22 just outside of Mankato. It's a very convenient lot. Next up is the Gustavus Arboretum in St. Peter. There's a variety of plants here. Uh, they've got it very nicely done. Nice little covered picnic area here. In the summer that's a waterfall and little koi pond on the side. This paved path is just a short one in the park. Uh, it just and it just goes straight across, more for students to travel to, you know, from some housing to the campus. And most of the paths in this park are going to be gravel. This park does not allow dogs. So here's an example of the gravel trail. This area goes through some, some woods with a lot of deciduous trees. There's a prairie section as well off to the side there. Um, it's a very popular park for walking. You'll find a lot of people walking here. There's a marshy area there and different evergreens in this section. Yeah, that's a squirrel <laughs> running over there. And this is the boulder circle in the Arboretum. Once spring hits, you'll find there are sections of this grassy area where a lot of tulip bulbs have been planted. And some of the open areas that are not prairie. Here's another prairie section. But in the main park section where there's uh, mowed grass, you'll find a lot of students play games there. There's a game box with frisbees and jump ropes and things over by the picnic pavilion. In the trees in some areas, you'll find a lot of students setting up hammocks as well. And there is one swing off of a tree branch in this park. There are benches periodically for people to sit at along the trails. There's an old cabin off on the side over there. They've planted a lot of apple trees around that and uh, they don't mind if you pluck apples off and enjoy them in the fall. Off in the distance, there's uh, the swing and some people in hammocks, may be hard to see. And this is by the other parking lot. Now we are moving on to the Riverfront Park in Mankato. This is in Mankato proper. This is the parking area. There's a playground here. And of course, this is called the Riverfront Park because it is right next to the Minnesota River.
it has a paved path picnic pavilion is also and there you can see sorry for my terrible zooming job here but you can see that that paved path goes down and goes along next to the river As we leave this park, we're crossing by some murals. This area of Mankato has been getting a lot of murals painted on walls and buildings, and you can see this is all you know, in Mankato. Now we're moving on to the Seven Mile Creek Park. It's off of Highway 169 in between Mankato and St. Peter. This is the Minnesota River. On this side, you'll find, you know, a lot of people like to hang out here and go fishing and just enjoy watching the river. And we'll cross over to the other side of the park. This is the entry. Uh, some nice rocks here at the entry. This side has playgrounds, picnic pavilions, and also a nice trail system. You'll find people walking, running, riding horses, and sometimes biking on the trail system in this park. It's also dog friendly. This is the creek that runs through the middle of the park. And that path into the creek is the horse crossing because the horses aren't allowed on the bridges. <coughs> And here's what the main paths are like in this park. They're all gravel and dirt paths going through the woods. This section is a little bit flat, but there are some nice hills uh, to go up in this park. So I'm going to cross this bridge. And on the other side of this bridge, we will find uh, loop number eight of the trail system and that one does go up to the highest point in the park so it's a, a nice challenge for for running the whole loop going back from the parking lot through loop eight and back is about a 5k so it's nice practice for 5k races So there we see um, loop eight, and also that one has a separate horse trail. There we have it, a very nice and pleasant park. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with uh, more parks in some different videos, because there's plenty more in Minnesota.